Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. If you remember from a recent Play to Win podcast episode, we were a little bit confused by Rebels' Jeggy Naws primer. I'm going to pull up the primer here just to see how this works, because I am not sure how that works either. Damn it, Rebel. Oh, okay. So, Rebel. Rebel. Your primer is make mana ad Naws profit. Yeah. That does not help me understand. Okay. So we decided to bring her onto the show so that she could show us the primer in person. So we have Cameron on Jessica Ishai Jeskai. I'm playing Godo, Rebel's playing Jeggy Naz, and Tyler's playing Kin and Combo. Before we get into today's video, we have a quick announcement. If you're not familiar with MTG Scanner, it's a great app that's developed by our friends over at Dragon Shield. The app lets you use your phone almost like a live filter for magic cards, so you can do all sorts of cool things like magically translate the cards from one language to another right in front of your eyes. You can check the value of your cards just by hovering your phone over top of them. It's also a great collection manager. I mean, scanning cards with your phone is so much easier than trying to meticulously type them in one at a time. The app is also connected to multiple popular MTG marketplaces so you can track the value of your entire collection. So the reason why we are talking about this today is because starting now, Dragon Shield has been kind enough to offer all of our patrons premium access to this app. So with that, you get an ad-free experience, you get unlimited card price alerts, and you can also see some historical card price data too. Thank you again, Dragon Shield, for the awesome new addition to the Play to Win Patreon. Now let's get into the video. Any pregames? I do have a pregame. Leyline of a button. No, just kidding. Get jump some. <laughs> um, I'm gonna exile Rune Karma Sword. I'm gonna get a draw for my first turn. Mox Diamonds. Discarding a Steam Vents. Cast a Mana Crypt. Cast a Jeweled Lotus. Oh, the bird! Oh my god! <laughs> Crack the Lotus for three blue, and we'll get Ishai out. I will pass the turn then. No land. All right. Playing around Blood Moon, I see. Draw card. <laughs> City of Traitors. Tap it for two and cast a Grim Monolith. Tap that for three and cast a Brass Squire. Oh, I have two counters on Ishai here. I'm also going to give you a third one and make your bird huge. Please attack somebody else. Well, you're because... not doing a good job of convincing <laughs> me. So far. Pass turn. Hmm. So Ishai is at four. If we play three more spells, we're gonna, definitely going to die. Someone's going to die in this game. Right. See, this is why I played so many spells, so that both of you would be forced to play fewer spells. <laughs> All right, Tyler, you want, what, what, let's talk a little bit here. Do we want to play it cool, or, or are we just going to... I think we're going balls to the wall, and I also think I'm fucking dead. <laughs> let's see how it plays out. In that case. All right. I'll play this Ancient Tomb. Play this Mox Diamond. I'll get the count. Trigger is high. Discarding Morphic Pool. Oh god, what's happening? I'll take two. 38. What's Jessica's will? I am at five cards in hand. I have four. I have four. I guess it's me. All right. Five. A little bit worse, but it's fine. Because I just wanted to play Jeggy. And I think that's that will be six once Gigante comes into play. Jeggy. Trigger a thingy thing. Pass the turn. That's it. That's all I got. I don't know if Cameron's gonna kill me. Draw for turn. Play a still curved forest, cast a Lenin Here we go. Day one, cast a little bit mystic. Here we go. Bird, bird, big. Pass the turn. Upkeep, we'll get a minute of trigger. Odds, I take damage, and we get an even. Turn, ooh, ooh, okay. Um, Let's cast a Gataxian probe for two life, going down to 38. Targeting Rebel. All right. Mizzix Mastery on the World Breach brings the light of the problem. I didn't have to say it out loud. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so before going any further, don't skip ahead. If you're Rebel, what's your line here? Oh, oh shoot. Okay. So you like. Breach is scared of me, but it says a J will. No, but you 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 have Adnaz for next turn, though. But this only pays for the green. Oh, okay. So you're you're not quite there yet. Okay, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna get a card off of it. After she explained that you can't just tap Jagentha and then cast Bring Delight for five, I my whole thought process immediately changed, and for some reason that made me go, Psh, she's not as threatening as Dylan, who is also threatening to win on his next turn too. I wish I'd been listening better. <laughs> All I remember is Breach. Well, if we're not going for it, what are we doing, right? Cast Jessica. Jessica. Jessica on two. Jessica is gonna zero targeting Ishai. Oh my God. Well, I know that Rebel's not gonna win on my next turn. I have three. And then Dylan has four cards. Dylan, throw Jessica targeting Ishai, and I'm coming at you with Ishai in the air. I have no effects. I die to commander damage immediately. I have uh, two mounds, a Dockside, and a Star Storm. I have no other plays. I will pass the turn. I'll make, I'm gonna make Uber. This is Gigantha Uber, which is very 
So first, I'll make two colors. I'll take two going to 36. Green mana from Gigantha. I'm going to play a crop or two. Sacrificing Ancient Tomb as part of cost and triggering the shot. Oh, thank you. I'll resolve Crop Rock. We'll get Fenty. Let's turn this to the white black. So I'll play Brain Toy for three. We're not here to play safe, we're here to play fast and get a game two. And yeah, I'll pick Intuition. Cast Intuition for free, targeting Tyler. Your choices are Brain Freeze, LED, or Sivian's. Sivian's the hand. Cool. And then I will use the black and the red for Underworld. LED, exile three cards, sacrifice LED for triple blue. I have a bunch of counters on it. Yeah. I've been forgetting. My last card was Thoracle. I have triple blue, spending two of it for a brain freeze of time. So I need to exile three cards. Six copies of that. So 18. 18 cards. And then I'm just going to flip over my deck and go from there. I did not <laughs> expect that. I had misdirection, but that doesn't help here. Good uh, shit, good game. Should we play another? Let's play another. Let's play From another. here, Rebel is able to mill through her entire library and then just cast Thassa's Oracle. We all see the writing on the wall, and we scoop them up, and we're dead. Did you have a turn true win in your hand? No, I didn't. If Dockside made more mana, I would have been able to, but no, I was not able to. My my play was a little bit strange. Part of me thinks that I maybe should have not tapped my Grim Monolith and just waited a turn to cast the other little idiot and then been able to go for a win later on, but I was hoping Dockside would make a lot of mana, and it didn't. And I also didn't get to get a second turn, so that was also unfortunate. I thought that I was going to be damned if I did or damned if I didn't. If I went for you, Rebel was probably going to kill me with Jagentha. And if I went for Rebel, you were probably going to kill me with Godo. So I figured just, I got to get rid of you and then maybe Re Rebel won't actually be able to win. Yeah. I don't know. It is unfortunate that you saw Rebel's hand and the right. win was right in it. And yeah, you're like, and nope, I still went, not, not no, no ad nauseum. <laughs> Fucking A. Let's go to the next game. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Have a hand. Any pregames? Not for me. All right, I'll get us started. Draw card. Sandstone Needle with two depletion counters on it. And I'm also going to cast a Jeweled Lotus. Pass my turn. Yeah, I'm just going to play my turn one DRC and be happy. I'm done. Draw. I'm going to play a Scalding Turn. Crack that. Get a Trap Island and cast a Fintor Nose. Pass. Draw. Misty Rainforest. Crack that. 39. So get a Volk. Magic Gods really, really are loving Whoa. just the Ishai today. Get, hey, stop it. <laughs> Get another one. That's what mulligans are for, friends. I'll pass. My top deck. I just want to make that clear. That was my top deck. Felt great. <laughs> Untap. Draw card. I have the Mouth of Ronum. I'm going to remove one of the depletion counters to make two red mana. Cast Goblin Matron. I'll go search for a goblin. I have a counter on this guy, by the way. Yeah, I'm just going to get it dockside and then pass my turn. There is probably a better goblin that I should get here, but I will be honest with you. I don't think that I'm the best Godo pilot. They are very good place I should be making, but... That I'm. This is my. This is always my problem. I, I find like really funny plates, and I have to go with those. Soul Ring trigger. Uh, Ishai trigger DRC. No, I don't want that. A stone to get rid of. Tap or two. Fell War stone trigger. Ishai trigger DRC. Who needs interaction? I'll throw away a swan song. I'll tap two and I'll play a Fimage copying the Ishai. Oh, nice. <laughs> I pass. That's it. I'm tapped. Play a Wind Swept Heath. Crack that Wind Swept Heath. This time I'm going to get Breeding Pool, so I'll be going down to 36. I am then casting Kin, and so Cammy will have a trigger. Rebel, you'll have a trigger too. Oh, yes. Oh, sure. All right, you're good, Mr. Cameron. I'll draw. We'll play a Polluted Delta. Swing at Dylan for sickness. Why me? What? Okay, sure. You don't have a blocker. And you also could have Treasonous Ogre coming up. All right, I'll take six. 34. And then I will pass. Untap. Draw a card. I'll cast a Chrome Mox. Counters. Wheel of Misfortune. I'm just going to pass my turn. I will play my Elky Boy. Counter. Then I'll play a Swampfire Grave. Take two damage. I will pass. Untap. Draw. Play a Snook Covered Island. Pass the turn. End of your turn. I'm going to fetch down to 38. I'm getting a Trial. Then Red Blast. The Ishai. Trigger it. And then Ishai dies. Go to my turn and I will draw Tundra as my land. Thinking time. Would it help you if I told you I won't win on my turn? Kind of, yes. Cameron, I would I would like you to think back to how persuasive Rebel was last time. <sighs> okay. Well, I know that Dylan has... I have removal. Don't come at me. I'll kill your bird. Okay. You could also just be saying that. I think what I want to do is cast a Ranger Captain of Eos. And with an ETB trigger, I get to go get a creature. 
probably should just be Esper. And then I'm gonna go to combat. Rebel, I'm gonna hit you in the air for eight with Ishai. Fair, I go to 30 with eight to command. I will then pass the turn. Draw card. Y'all really don't like feeding Dockside, I guess. I'll crack Jeweled Lotus for a three commander red. Remove the last counter for two red here. And six total, cast Godo. You have a Godo and I have a trigger. I do not plan on winning this turn though. It's just a value, Godo. It's just, <laughs> it's yeah, just exactly. a value, Godo. I don't even think I can get Hammer here because I legitimately don't have a clone. Helm of the Host, put into play. Pass my turn. Draw, pass the turn. See, no lights. In your instant, cast a Force of Vigor the hard way. I'm gonna target Soul Ring and Helm of the Host. I'll float two colors. Fire. Yep, you get it. Of course, you're never supposed to cast Goto unless you're planning on winning immediately. And I know that I have a red elemental blast hoping that can protect Goto, but it doesn't work against green spells. Son of a bitch. Draw. Oh, for goodness sakes. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play a land for turn. We're going to crack it. Go down to 37. Plateau. Cast Jessica. Two. Zero Jessica targeting Ishai. Go to combat. I am going to swing Ishai at Rebel. Make Wilberg snap. I'm going to dispel that snap. Did you get a snap counter? Yes, I did now. I have a DRC trigger. Put this time twister into my graveyard. Snap is countered. DRC currently has delirium, and That's I will good. block. That sounds good. I have no other plays. I'll pass them. Untap. Draw a card. I'll go to combat. Attack Godo at Jessica. Trigger Godo. I get an extra combat after this with Jessica's dead. I guess with the second attack, Rebel, I'll come at you for another three. I go to 27. And I'll just pass my turn. Untap. Okay. We'll make a bird again. Play this ranger cat in the I get a counter. I will get a tender wall. Tender wall. Sacrifice my ranger captain. Oh, shoot. In response, I'm going to sacrifice my ranger captain. Oh, my God. I'm so hard for it. Activation on the stack. I will play team. Carson and Rebel? One. Okay, I'll flip over my deck, leaving one card on the bottom. Both Ranger Captain resolved. Cameron, do you have any guesses to what this is? Yeah, uh, Thassa's she, Oracle. She just got Thassa's Oracle this, in her hand. Was tutored before? Yes. Yeah, Wait, did we know that you cheated it. for it? No, you didn't know. I'm just yeah. telling you what happened. No, it's, it's pretty it's, obvious, though. Because yeah, yeah. No other <laughs> yeah, I just didn't know if it was patched for something um, specific because it's packed. At the, At the time, I didn't know either. Packed. To pack tainted pack and chose not to, so that's on me. Or at least it, I no, save. I also could have to boss trickery it, and it, I also didn't realize that what was happening until she yeah, saw the whole library. So it wasn't just you. <laughs> All right, good um, stuff. Great, Ooh. yeah, jeez. Oh wow, that's Jesus so funny. Weird. You just completely rolled us two games in a row. I love it. <laughs> we just got completely smacked over the head by Gigantanaz. It's actually kind of embarrassing how <laughs> we lost that game. Like yeah. she just, she put that Tainted Pact on the stack and all of us were like, so what? Thank you Rebel for letting us know what's up and how good Gigantanaz really is. We did play another game with Rebel uh, and it went a little bit differently than this. Uh, hopefully that'll be coming down the line. If you want to see that, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $50 patrons cz john 117 jan wildfang brent ray adrian grimm playboy p tommy the oddball swampy mcgee peter larson cameron james jormags jimmy midnight matthew Sorensen, baby jeebus and mario hernandez thanks y'all oh and don't forget all of our patrons will be getting access to the premium dragon shield app uh down below just go to the patron and, and you'll get it. check out our bonfire store for our awesome t-shirts sweatshirts and all of our other cool merch too if you want to check out any of the cards that you saw today you can do so at our tcg player affiliate link down below our ultra sleeves affiliate link gets you five percent off your order so check that out there too you can also check out our website playtowinmtg.com we have play mats available again as well as some tokens too so check that out the skull play mats are uh, out of stock but the og play mats are back in stock you can pick that one up thanks for watching see you next time begin we represent the play to win guild how's everyone feeling that was not very long should we do a third game real quick i have time for a third i'll play a third but i'll play a different deck no, you have to keep playing this one, unless you really want to change. I, yeah. Unless you really want to change, then obviously all means. No, no, I just no, think no, it's no. it's so funny that you're beating the hell out of this deck that, that Cameron and I were like joking about on the podcast. Like, how this is this deck is that? Yeah, this, is, this was best case scenario for us today. Like, <laughs> to get absolutely crushed by this. Yeah, please. This is exactly right. what we were hoping for.
make mana, add nos, profit.